What's going on, guys? This is Aaron with Departures Capital. We're here with Sean Dollinger, founder of Plant X Life. How are you doing today, Sean? Great. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, for sure. You know, Plant X has created a one stop shop platform for everything plant based. Can you give us a rundown about the company? Yeah, absolutely. We started back in December, the concept, the site launched in April. And we have a whole bunch of different verticals out there from meal delivery to uh, plant subscription for the home. We believe in like a plant X uh, lifestyle. That's what we refer to ourselves as. And like you mentioned, we're your one stop shop for everything plant based. So we want anybody who's exploring because there's so much curiosity out there right now in the plant based space to come and be educated by us and hopefully try our products and love them. Yeah, that's awesome. It's definitely a really popular industry right now. So how did Plan X get started? So, you know, my background has been 20 years of specialty e-commerce. The last company I built from the ground up went from 6 million to $1.2 billion in a year and a half. And uh, essentially when I left that company in February of 2019, started thinking to myself, how could you make a change in the world? And I've lived a plant-based lifestyle or have been on that journey for the past 10 years. I've lost 60 pounds. Wow. I used to have bad anxiety. And it was just amazing how great I felt. So I thought to myself, how could we change the world a little bit? And uh, if we could give better uh, people a longer, better, healthier, better quality of life, what would be more rewarding than that? That's awesome. So why is the plant-based industry so hot right now? And where do you see it going in 2021? So I think that it was gradually getting stronger and stronger. More people obviously hear about plant-based living. Then all of a sudden plant-based restaurants start popping up and people try the food and they're like, wow, it's not just pasta or bread. There are so many interesting flavors. And then uh, COVID hits in you know March or February of 2020 people start looking within, you know, how do I take better care of myself? And that's where I believe that the real acceleration has started in plant-based. And yeah. I don't believe that it's a fad or just here for a little bit. I think gradually over the next many years to come, we continuously see this industry growing and exploding. Yeah, I definitely agree. So how has COVID affected the company? Well, for us, we're pretty much completely virtual with the exception of a few learning centers that we've developed, just kind of like how Apple had to introduce uh, the home user to their software, uh, which is obviously uh, was much stronger back then. And then we look at Tesla educating people on electric vehicles. The plant-based space is new to a lot of people. Believe it or not, I go down to Los Angeles quite a bit. I go to some fantastic restaurants. You'd think they would know what plant-based living is and they still offer dairy and eggs and all these different products that aren't plant-based. With the switch with COVID and being able to go online, it hasn't really affected our company because that really was the direction of our company is uh, obviously our e-commerce is what powers our company. Definitely, and you know, I think that that's what differentiates you guys from other plant-based companies. But um, can you add, is there anything to add to that? you know, in terms of what differentiates you guys from other plant-based companies? So we have all different components. There's some companies out there that just do plant-based meal delivery, some that do plant-based grocery, but that don't have the control. They basically API into a whole bunch of different places and they don't actually have control on the product going out the door. So our company makes sure that everybody we're working with is really plant-based and that um, that's the direction. The other thing that makes us different is that we're accepting. We're not just telling everybody, hey, you've got to live a plant-based lifestyle. If somebody's in the mood for something different, go for it, listen to your body. We want to be known as kind of the accepting body out there. We don't judge at all. We're always here with open arms. If you want to give plant-based a try, come to plantx.com. Yeah, I think that's really cool about you guys. So PlantX has had a very busy and successful year. Can you tell us about some of the wins for 2020, you know, and is there any strategic partnerships that you'd like to highlight? So we, uh, you know, we thank our partners, Bloombox Club in the UK. They took a chance on PlantX right away. That was our first acquisition. Uh, you know, Katie and her team 
Uh, if you asked me back in April, would Plantex acquire a plant subscription company? I'd say no way. And then like uh, Katie and her team put it perfectly. They put the plant in Plantex, which I think is pretty cool. So, um, you know, that was a phenomenal acquisition. We're going to be expanding that company throughout Europe here in 2021. And then uh, Locavor, Corey and Steve, again, took a chance on us for that to be our 15,000 square foot COVID friendly outdoor Squamish where I believe the root of plant-based living exists. And we're so excited to uh, keep growing out there as well. That's awesome. So now let's talk about the team. You know, who are your key members and what do they bring to the table? So you've got Julia Frank, CEO, has been with the company since December, right there at the start, uh, helping. And uh, she's been uh, absolutely wonderful. Her background's from BMW. So she definitely knows structure and she's really putting that together really well. Um, we have Alexandra Hoffman, her marketing background. You can see from our website, we're doing things that people don't typically see. Uh, you've got Lauren Rapkin, CFO, so far has been hitting every single audit on time, just filled out a bar report five days early. Any experience I've ever had, people are going to the 11th hour and there he is five days early on his deadline. And then we've got, you know, Yosef Adelman. Challenge your viewers to go ahead and type in uh, Vegan Meal Delivery Canada. Veal meal, vegan Meal Delivery Canada to appear number two in a site that we just launched in April is unheard of. So all of these things put together, I think equals a phenomenal team. Awesome. And you know, what should investors look out for from Plant X in 2021? Just follow our story closely. I think you guys are gonna be really interested in the different acquisitions we do to keep building out our verticals. We believe in acquiring to create strength within the company. I'm a strong believer one plus one equals 10. It doesn't equal two. And if it's done right, I think you'll keep seeing our sales increase, uh, you know, in December in a company that just went live in April to already have a million dollar a month is pretty much unheard of. So we'll keep that going. Awesome. And congratulations. So finally, how can investors get in touch with you or learn more about the company? Yeah, so they could email our CEO, Julia, J-U-L-I-A, at plantex.com. My email is Sean, S-E-A-N, at plantex.com. And uh, we're always around. Feel free to send an email. You'll get a response pretty much immediately. Our uh, stock obviously trades on the Canadian Stock Exchange under Vega, V-E-G-A. And then in um, Germany under WNT.1. And in the U.S. Uh, on the OTCQB PLNTX. Perfect, Sean. Well, thanks a lot for you know all the information, and I look forward to covering your story. And uh, hopefully, we can have you back. Love it. Thank you very much. And as we say on our show, stay curious, stay planted, stay healthy. Cheers. All right. Thanks. All right, guys, that wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to say, if you do support me the channel in all these videos, then kindly smash that like button along with hitting the subscribe button and the bell for notifications for future videos. I did also want to say, check the disclaimer down below. This video was sponsored by the company that we are talking about today. So check the disclaimer, full disclosure, and um, we're out of here. Always remember, guys, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you make your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. We'll see you guys in our next video.